Ukrainian soldiers have been fighting here for the past eight years. Their units were some of the toughest troops in the country. But they were ready to fight by building defensive trenches. As we travel east towards the front lines, we saw new defensive positions and trenches together. We suffer while in the trenches. He told me, we have good weapons and good defenses and if the Russians attack us here, they will lose. Хаймарс без запрошення та без попередження зайшов у гості на російські позиції ракетного комплексу С. Despite the Ukrainians' impressive battlefield record thus far, Kimmet is cautious about making. They knew that the worst situation would happen, but Roman believed that the Ukrainian troops were more tactically astute. He said that Russia's military doctrine had not evolved since the Second World War, relying on the military. Hidden locations. One of the units works near the positions defended by the 100th Wallen Territorial Defense Brigade. They operate with direct fire at the end. Ukrainian defenders are trying to effectively work on the target and leave the position as quickly as possible. Контакт. submit to any foreigners or colonizers. That's why we fight. Russians off on the west bank of the Dnieper River. So what next? Well, both sides now face their first winter at war, a prospect the general believes that can actually work in Ukraine's favour. We'd expect the tempo to reduce, and actually we should see the wind by the west with more training, stronger logistics.
into an exchange of, uh, of weapons that essentially destroy them from the planet. But we do have to expect it and have worked out in advance how we'll deal with the threat of tactical nuclear weapons or the use of chemical weapons. And surely, surely that would mean that Russia would be... For Ukraine, it's as an ominous warning. The thing we should be very concerned about and watchful of is if the Ukrainians... Uh, the enforcements. President Putin has already sought retribution, sacking a top general. The question is how far he'll go and Balaklia, the troops raise their flag in victory. So in the north, around Kharkiv, where, you know, where Russia has essentially ceded the Kharkiv Oblast,